make ceviche. I'd like to say we're making it with fresh fish, but we're not, but it is fresh from the store. Let me put on my apron and wash my hands and we'll get started making dinner. We're gonna start with some fresh yellowfin tuna and we're gonna cut it into little chunks. It is raw. What's nice about ceviche is it cooks with lime juice. Getting ready to cook, sometimes we cheat and use some lime juice, but we'll combine it with some real limes. Look at that baby roll those limes. Mm -hmm. When you're using fresh limes or lemons, um, if you roll them before you slice them and squeeze them, they get a little juicier. It makes it easier to get the juice out of the lemon or the lime. Roll me, baby. Yeah. I do want to tell you I washed the cutting board and the knife before I started using the lime on them. Uh, when you're using fresh fish, raw fish, you need to be very careful about making sure that you wash your utensils in between. Cooking away. Didn't really need the juice because we bought enough limes. And I do know how to squeeze a lime. Yeah, you do, honey. We covered the ceviche. We're going to put it in the refrigerator. I'm putting a plate here, and here it goes on top of the plate so that if it spills, it'll be on the plate and not all the way down at the bottom of the refrigerator. Now it's time to slice the veggies to go in the ceviche. So the ceviche cooks in lime juice for about 30 minutes or so, and then you add some of these wonderful vegetables to the mixture. Or ceviche, or ceviche, as they say in Francais. Tomato, tomato, it's all fish. You like our little fold-up extra counter we have? And down here, is the Singer 237 sewing machine circa 1965. It sews through anything. Forget the sale right machines for 800 bucks. I paid about 100 bucks on eBay for this and it works perfect. The veggies ready for the lime cooked tuna ceviche. The finished product. Which took longer than anticipated. Yeah, it took about two hours to actually lime juice cook the fish. We just don't want y'all to eat raw fish. But it's looking good. Looks delicious. So today we're going to have some bean burritos, chopped onions, chopping some tomatoes. We're going to combine these with two different types of beans and homemade tortillas. Yeah, we even made the bag. Well, not really, but what the hell. So, all of the ingredients are ready. Two different types of beans, the tomatoes, the onions, the homemade tortillas, the hot sauce, the cheese, and some diced jalapenos. The finished product. Some diced jalapenos, little cheese, tomato, onion, two types of beans, and hot sauce.